If you are still looking to make those 4th of July plans, don't go to Grapevine Lake. That is the message tonight from city officials, and it's because the water levels there are still so high that their annual fireworks show had to be moved. Our Caroline Vandergriff with where the lake is standing right now. Picnic tables, playgrounds, streets, all underwater at Grapevine Lake. Yeah, we passed by some light posts and some gazebos. I mean, you could just see the roofs of them. It was it was pretty wild. Kind of being a little cautious, not sure what my motor was going to encounter under there. Daniel Lennon and his boys still had fun out on the water, launching their canoe at the only public boat ramp in Grapevine still open. A little hard to find a good access point, but this worked out for us today. The water is more than 15 feet above its normal level because of the heavy rain we got in May and early June. Now the lake is doing its job. It was built for flood control and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers can't release any more water right now because of downstream effects. We're in a holding pattern. Uh, in a few weeks, we might look completely different. This is just a dangerous place. We don't advise anyone to come out um, and swim or try and do anything as such. That's why the city of Grapevine is moving its annual July 4th fireworks extravaganza from the lake to Great Wolf Lodge. Several businesses are opening up their parking lots for people to come and watch since you won't be able to see the fireworks from the lake at all. Our mayor and council certainly wanted to make that happen for our citizens and those who join us for the fireworks display and um, the show will go on. Just not on the water. I had no idea uh, the lake was like this till I get, uh, we came out a few weeks ago and we we're like, oh my goodness. So unless you've got a boat or some other type of watercraft, we sure had a good time. This isn't the best place to spend the fourth. In Grapevine, Caroline Vandergriff, CBS News, Texas. In other words, find somewhere else to go for the fourth. Grapevine Lake, by the way, is the only lake impacted by recent flooding. Louisville Lake and Joe Pool Lake also seeing a high water levels uh, out there as well.